The bleachers were filled this evening and earlier this afternoon for Waco High School's sixth annual Black History Month show. The twist is this year's show was the theme, If We Only Knew What We Could Do, making a dedication to the former McLennan County Commissioner, Lester Gibson. Fox 44's Earl Stoudemire joins us now in the studio to explain how their theme this year is one you can't forget. Earl. Adam, it was a super fun show and great learning opportunity for Waco High School and what they put together. The presentation in previous years focused on nationally recognized leaders. This year, the leaders were all from here in McLennan County. The late McLennan County Commissioner Lester Gibson, Waco Police Chief Cheryl Victorian, plus more black leaders from Waco were on the board and honored in Waco High School's 6th Annual Black History Month program. Waco High Student Body President Kevin Redmond says, Gibson's words, if we only knew what we could do, is one that speaks volumes to him and his peers. So letting the young people know that if you only knew what you could be able to do, you would be able to accomplish that. If you change your perspective on different things, you would be able to go as far as he did and maybe further. Dancers, musicians, models and singers took the stage today celebrating black history, culture and excellence. Waco High Principal Sterling Magruder says the students have been planning this program since the start of 2023. So these performances are artistic ways, um, humanities, where they can express themselves with some of the learning that they, they, they got. So it's so important that we have uh, fine arts at our school and they're able to express themselves in a culturally proficient way. There were also spoken word performances, including self-published Waco poet Tony Shelton taking the mic. Shelton says she hopes her performance helped black youth feel recognized and that they can achieve their dreams. I hope that they feel empowered um, and I hope that they feel uh, inspired and I hope that they feel seen. I know that if I was someone in that high school setting and I saw an adult that was a professional doing poetry, I might have started doing poetry earlier. A main takeaway from this year's program is to acknowledge the past in order to thrive in the present and future. Live in the studio, Earl Stoudemire, Fox 34 News.